In this figure, we have to find the value of alpha. So first, we can reflect the whole figure about AB, AD. And label these points as B dash and C dash. We can see that AB is equal to AB dash. So this is equal, these all angles become equal. So this is a polygon with all sides equal. We can also write down the equal angles. We can observe that B, A, B, C, C, D, C dash and C dash B, A all are 10 alpha. So we can, we have this idea of creating congruent triangles by SAS. So we can join A, C, A, C dash and C dash C. This means that triangle, this makes the triangle ABC congruent to triangle CDC dash congruent to triangle ABC dash by SAS. By CPCT, we can say that AC is equal to CC dash is equal to AC dash. So the triangle ACC dash becomes an equilateral triangle. Hence, the angle CAC dash is equal to 60 degree. And we can also write this angle in the terms of alpha. We know that uh, BAC triangle and AB dash C dash is isosceles. So the angle BAC would be equal to 180 minus 10 alpha by 2. Similarly, C dash AB dash would also be equal to 180 minus 10 alpha by 2. Now we can uh, see that the angle C A C dash angle C A C dash is equal to 14 alpha minus B A C minus C A dash A B dash is equal to 14 alpha minus 180 plus 10 alpha. This is equal to 60 degree. This would become 24 alpha minus 180. 24 alpha is equal to 240. So alpha is equal to 10 degree. This is our answer.